Hi, everyone. It is 10.58 p.m., February 24, 2021. I posted this video a couple of days ago on the 22nd. Washington, Oregon warning. Pineapple Express coming. And Massachusetts climate official who said, we have to break your will. It's not the corporations that are causing climate change. It's you who drives a car. It's you who use air conditioning. Oh, yeah, break your will. Wow. Okay. Well, the Pineapple Express part of this video was based on this article in Mercury News, which is a West Coast news publication. Pineapple Express is headed for the rain-soaked Northwest. It was rather dramatic atmospheric river event known as the Pineapple Express forecast to bring a prolonged, ugh, I'm tired, sorry, prolonged period of wet weather. Uh, this was February 21st. Prolonged period of wet weather, potential for avalanches, Washington, Oregon, beginning on Sunday. Avalanche warnings across the Cascades, across Washington, uh, heavy snow, high avalanche danger warning. Level four out of five has been issued for Sunday. Um, avalanches have killed 30 people. Now, just this past season, Oregon, thousands are still suffering power outages. You had an ice storm. Oh, what? About maybe 10 days, two weeks ago? Trees down, power outages, people out of power. Well, last I heard, 10 days. And still, you have people without power. So if they are checking out this news, that could bring an awful lot of fear. The new system arrives as Oregon still has 30,000 customers without power. That number no doubt has gone down. This was on the 21st. Um, everything is forecast to be high. High winds, high tides, high potential for river flooding. Winds from 15 to 25 miles per hour gusting as high as 40. And we know the shape of our trees. More trees coming down? That's over the next 72 hours. Well, that was on the 21st, so we have about 72 hours. And I did a little checking, and it doesn't seem that you've had anything really bad going on. Uh, the, the gusty winds could lead to more power outages. Heaviest rain will be from Eugene, Oregon, up to the Canadian border. Flooding will be a concern. What does this do to people? It causes an awful lot of fear. You know, I got two emails from subscribers. Uh, hi, Carol. I blocked out some of the identifying information, but hi, Carol. In Kent, Seattle, Washington, please pray. Out my back door, my grass. I truly hate living in this state. Two years top, I'm out of here. Please pray for me. My mom lives in East Texas. Yep, it is. What's going on is pretty friggin' evil. So, what's out right out her back yard is... Hang on, I gotta get the download. Okay. She's got a pretty um, healthy creek behind her house. So when they're calling for a pineapple express, lots of rain, prolonged period of rain, forecasting flooding, is this going to concern an awful lot who live in this environment? Of course it will. And the other email was 
Well, this is what they are forecasting for my area concerning the Pineapple Express, 45 mile per hour wind gusts on top of inches of heavy snow. It's a disaster in the making. If you could give your subscribers a heads up about what is coming, it would be very helpful. Uh, 45 mile per hour winds means people to the west of me will suffer wind gusts much higher. There will be flooding of already swollen water bodies as well. Uh, people need to think about how or if that will affect them. Now is the time to get prepared. But this was the forecast that she sent me. Winter storm watch remains in effect from late tonight through late Friday night. Heavy snow possible. Total snow accumulations 8 to 15 inches possible along the crest of the Cascades, three to eight inches in the lower elevations. Winds could gust to 45. Um, east slopes of the Oregon Cascades when from late tonight through late Friday night. Impacts, travel could be difficult to impossible. The hazardous conditions could impact the morning or evening commute and gusty winds could bring down tree branches. If any of this happens, I really hope my subscribers stay safe and you don't have to suffer any of, well, the evil. So I looked into it. What was going on now? All right, they were saying this was headed straight for uh, the... Northern California, Oregon, Washington area. Well, I didn't see anything on satellite showing me this direction of a Pineapple Express. But Pineapple Express, it was all over. Now I did a Pineapple Express, filtered it past week, it's headed to the United States, CNN. A rare Pineapple Express, nine news, rain-soaked northwest, flooding, avalanche, concerns. Um, the, you know, mainstream media was all over it, covering it. Pineapple Express triggers high avalanche danger. Pineapple Express, Pineapple Express, Pineapple Express. Okay, well, you filter that. Now, considering that this is only three days ago, there would be no more, you know, news on this Pineapple Express. So, filter it for 24 hours. What do you get? This movie in 2008, Pineapple Express. And businesses. Oh, Oh, the Daily Beast has it. Interesting. Here, Pineapple Express Cannabis Strain near Phoenix. Um, okay, the Daily Beast. Pineapple Express Care. So, let's see what the Daily Beast has to say. 17 hours ago. Oh, really? Really? Well, I'm going to show you uh, satellite images and something's very wrong with our mainstream media news. Something is very wrong. Are they just posting this crap to scare the shit out of people? Maybe they are. Now, I've encountered this before. Several years ago, there were these hurricanes spinning off the coast of Mexico, which is not where they originate, but hey, when you live in the new normal, anything is possible. Uh, it's called weather modification, but they were spinning for about five days. And then suddenly, they, I guess, were going to be taking off. Mainstream media, all of mainstream media, was covering this hurricane, and it was going to go through Mexico and then go through 
Arizona, and then go up to Utah, and then make a right-hand turn and go all across the United States, this one hurricane, and boy, was that reporting dramatic. 250 million Americans threatened by this hurricane. The next day, it was gone. We heard nothing. Nothing. It was like, oh, I guess it disappeared. Okay. Well, <clears throat> I don't know where the Daily Beast got this Pineapple Express stuff, but nobody else is reporting on it. Not from what I've seen. And, okay, um... Well, they show this Pineapple Express heading. It's literally coming out of the Pacific, heading straight into Seattle. Hmm. I don't see anything. Let's, let's check out the clouds. Well, hang on, I'll get it. I don't want you waiting. So this is what I posted in my video on the 22nd. And, well, this, I guess, is this. Now, this was posted 17 hours ago on the Daily Beast, coming straight for Seattle. This was on the 21st or the 22nd, I'm sorry. And it's already in. It looks like it's already in Seattle and Oregon. Um, but anybody, um, you don't have to be a meteorologist to look at this and realize that this is not natural. This is not how Mother Nature ever worked. Um, but really, it's like all of this is manufactured cloud. And so, you know, was it the Pineapple Express coming or was it the Pineapple Express already there? Um, because all of this is attached and, you know, you see the grid patterns, you see all of these blips of what I guess they're calling cloud, um, but you see something very strange here in Northern California. Boom. Oh, activate those nanobots and get them to create stratus clouds. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you don't know that they're actually using nanotechnology, that they have dropped way loads of nanobots into the atmosphere and they can actually activate these nanobots to create stratus clouds and to create weather. Um, but no, Mother Nature didn't just erupt like a force of, oh, I'd like clouds right here. This line of cloud. That's not how these natural clouds form. But Look at all of the microwaves, all of these ripples in the clouds. Okay, so um, I'm sorry. The uh, that this is so the Pineapple Express, I guess, is connected to just you know. Look at this, and it's got a tail. All right, look. Oh, boy. Um, what does it look like right now? This is what it looks like. So something happened to the Pineapple Express that it decided to go north, but now it's going to come back down to Washington and Oregon. 
And if you can see all of these lines, definitely not Mother Nature at all. Okay, so I guess the Pineapple Express was very, very, very long. Long indeed. So I guess they pushed it up into Canada. Now, well, they're going to circle it back. But it does not appear. Here's the radar right now. A little bit of, you know, precipitation off the coast of Washington. But you very often have precipitation right here. You have the extremely low frequency shot that shows up right now. Yay! That very defined line. Right there. That's the signature of extremely low frequencies in use. These two are extremely low frequencies down here in Southern California, San Diego area. These, well, earlier I took a capture and we had no precipitation. And then later on, what we had was the development of precipitation. And it was obvious that it was nanobots. And if I don't go on too long, I'll show you. But you've got the extremely low frequencies coming out of Florida, Jacksonville area, and a little bit further down. They use these frequencies to modify the weather, intensify the weather, uh, and with a little more tools like cloud manufacture, they can create a whole lot of problems. Now, this is the uh, your tropical tidbits, your forecast. Let's start at 11 p.m. February 24. And I think it's 10 p.m. your time in Oregon and Washington. So what do we have here? We don't have anything here. Okay. It's clear. Okay. You have some rain. You have, you know, I'm looking at the colors, maybe one inch, one to two inches um, snow. It's 11 p.m. tomorrow night. This is February 26, 5 p.m. You've got very light, light rain. Now, you are soaked. So could this cause some flooding? Yes, because you are so soaked. And, you know, the rivers probably are high. And, um, but... Nobody is saying Pineapple Express anymore. In fact, this was the forecast for Oregon. Your uh, Friday, you have rain, 70% chance showers. Partly cloudy on Saturday. AM showers, 40% chance. Zero, mostly cloudy, mostly cloudy, mostly cloudy. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So it does not look like you're going to be getting prolonged rain from the Pineapple Express. This was February 24. The chief meteorologist, Natasha Stenbach, with the weather update. Okay. Um... She never mentions Pineapple Express. Listening to this guy, the forecast beginning on the 21st, I don't hear him mentioning the Pineapple Express. 
but it was all over the news until it wasn't. So um, what it looks like is that a lot of that cloud mass that you saw was pushed into Canada, the cloud mass that I showed you here, pushed into Canada or pushed up, and then they're bringing it back down. Who the hell knows? These, you know, when man is in control of the weather, then man gets to do whatever the hell man wants to do. Oh, maybe we'll call this a Pineapple Express, and then the next day we'll just stop calling it that. Now we're just calling it rain and snow. And the everything high, well, that seems to be no longer in the forecast as well. But this is the 25th now. Um, you got light rain in <clears throat> Oregon and up into like Uh, not so high up into Washington, the February 27th, 5 a.m. You do have the snow here, which is maybe two inches, three inches. February 27th, 11 a.m. Snow gets lighter. <clears throat> Still some rain, light rain. Uh, based on what I am seeing on this forecast, the tropical tidbits, you, it, it's not going to be what they were forecasting. So we're February 27th, uh, it dries up, 11 p.m., 28th, 5 a.m., nothing, 11 a.m., 5 p.m. There ain't no Pineapple Express. Clear March 1st. Clear 5 p.m., 11 p.m. Uh, March 2nd, 5 a.m. California, Southern California. Looks like you're going to get quite a bit of rain. How unusual. And quite a bit of rain. Well, not so bad. Uh, parts of Florida. Um, I'm just sticking to Washington and Oregon right now. But you're clear. But this, March 5th, 11 a.m. Okay. Heavier rain coming your way. March 5th. And snow. So from 5 p.m. March 5th, 11 p.m., 11 a.m. March 6th, and more rain, but, a, but heavier snow, March 7th. All right, I just, I don't know how to ease people's minds in terms of the weather anymore. Uh, but they don't seem to be speaking as dramatically as they were. In fact, they don't, if you listen, I'll link below to these broadcasts. They don't speak dramatically at all. They talk about snow in the higher uh, um, in the higher areas of Oregon, great skiing, um, This is so abusive. It's really abusive. It's abusive. 
and your winds look like they're being redirected. Redirected. Right up here, and this is Canada, close to Alaska. Um, then the winds, of course, are coming down south or going up north. Look at this crazy concoction. You know, oh, the wind is taking a right-angled uh, turn and then just spinning around or going off uh, north of UK. But this is crazy. This is like the right-angled signatures. That it should tell everybody that the use of frequencies, electromagnetic frequencies, that man has been using to control the weather for a very, very, very long time, it's unfortunate that we still have people who just refuse to look into it. We have commercial weather modification companies, commercial weather modification companies, I say plural, not singular. We've got a lot of them. They've been creating weather all over. All over. China came out and said, hey, we're going to expand our weather modification and still can't get through to people. It's amazing. And that little chuckle is not, you know, oh, I'm just, I think it's so funny. It's destroying people's lives. It's not funny. It's not funny at all. Here's a wind map. You have almost no wind on the coast of you know, Oregon, Washington. Very little wind. We have more wind down in uh, the Arizona area. Look at this. So that you have high, high winds right here, and then they're just channeled up north, and then you got your hurricane signature. That seems to be a staple now. Well, let me show you what I captured earlier because when you see what, well, this was <clears throat> at 9.36 a.m. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Massive assault from uh, Louisiana, Mississippi, all the way through to North Carolina. A massive electromagnetic frequency assault. How are you guys feeling in this area? So this was at 9.36 a.m. today. And <clears throat> let's just check out. Uh, oh, wow. This was at 2.17 p.m. That's mountain time now. I guess I should say that, um, but <laughs> really, look at this. You got the creation of what appears to be precipitation. I don't know if it really was raining there. You guys in that area, let me know. But what you have here is the nanobots creating cloud, the flickering of these, uh, what, clouds? This is not cloud. This, I absolutely do believe, are the nanobots that they have thrown into the atmosphere. Mm 
And in fact, it reminds me of the pellet snow that we get here in Montana. Pellet snow, which I will post a video on. But no, this is not natural cloud. Look at all of the microwaves, all of the frequencies. So, when you see that you know, on radar, it's completely clear, 936, all of these frequencies, uh, a little blip of precipitation here, Kentucky. Oh, well. Then you see all of this. Just about four and a half hours later, it's all a creation of man. What, uh, this was two hours later. Wow, look at that. Nanotechnology. Look how nicely defined that line is. So this, I guess, is the rain that is coming to you. But again, you know, it doesn't, it is not the Pineapple Express. You're not going to be getting prolonged weather, um, prolonged rain, I'm sorry. And it doesn't look like you'll be getting heavy, heavy rain. But again... I, I don't know how filled your rivers are. I don't know. You know, I saw that creek and it looked pretty, you know, full. But it does not appear to me as if your home will be flooded from that creek. I, I think you will be okay. And I need to hear from you. So, you know, I know that you are okay. Look at, that was absolutely nanotechnology. I mean, it couldn't be more clear. It just, it couldn't be more clear. I mean, here are all the blips, the activation of the nanobots. This is not what rain used to look like. And here is your, your Pineapple Express. Really? No. Look at how, you know, it, it, it literally looks like it was weaved. It's a weaving of stratus cloud creation the manufacture all right i just i i had to post this because you know i'm like okay pineapple express and what's going on and They sure do seem to be redirecting an awful lot of the winds up the coast, right along the coast. Yes, it is abusive reporting, you know. Will they take responsibility for it? Hell no. This is just the way we roll. Stay safe, everyone.